I just wanted to share with you something really cool that I learned this week in my devotions. So Jesus, he became a man and took on our flesh and overcame in all points and he was completely obedient to the will of God and he lived a completely sinless life so that he could be our perfect sacrifice and take on the penalty of sin on our behalf. Now the Bible tells us, Wherefore in all things it behooved him to be made like unto his brethren. We also read in Hebrews chapter 4 verse 15 that we have not a high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted as we are, yet without sin. So every single temptation, every single struggle, every single trial that we have dealt with and that we go through in life, Jesus knows exactly what that's like, except he overcame on every single point and he lived a perfect life of obedience to the will of God. Now the thing is, we as human beings, seeing Jesus as an example, it's impossible to imagine achieving the level of perfection that he did to be perfectly obedient to the will of God and to live a sinless life. It seems totally impossible because it's out of line with our experience because we've messed up so many times in the past and we keep beating ourselves up because we feel like, oh, I'm never gonna get victory over this sin or this thing that's been just plaguing me. But the thing is, when we are born again, when we are baptized and when we accept Christ, we are born of water and spirit. So our old flesh and our old nature completely dies and we are resurrected in newness of life and we are born of the spirit by being born again and by taking that spiritual nature upon us and by following the example of Christ and by allowing the power and the grace of God to work within us and to transform us and for Christ to live within us, to will and to do for his good pleasure, we are able to actually follow the example of Christ. Because Christ came to set the example. And if he set the example, that means that he expected that we are able to follow it by his power. And that brings us to the verse in Philippians chapter 4, verse 13, that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I hope this was a blessing to you, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.